I'm Jamie, and in this video, I'll be explaining how to use Ubiquiti's powerful spectrum analyzer, AirView, a tool freely available on all AirMax radios. For this demonstration, I'll be using a PicoStation M2 HP. The first thing we'll do is connect to the PicoStation. By default, it has an IP address of 192.168.1.20 with a subnet address of 255.255.255.0. So we'll set the IP address of my computer to something like .15 on the same subnet. Next, open up your browser and navigate to the address of the Pico Station, 192.168.1.20. The default credentials are UBNT, UBNT. After logging into your AirMax radio, you'll notice a toolbar in the top right hand corner. Here you can access a number of handy tools for radio and network operation. Click on the toolbar and select AirView. You'll need to enable pop-ups in order to access the AirView software. Before launching the AirView tool, you need to know that all wireless connections will be terminated since the wireless interface is used to scan the spectrum. This is particularly important to remember when you're working on a live AP with active stations. Once you're ready, click on Launch AirView. A Java file will download and AirView should begin automatically. The AirView software gathers very important and relevant data which operators can analyze to make decisions regarding their AirMax networks. AirView presents this data in three dynamic charts, each of which offers a unique view of the spectrum under analysis. Located at the top is the waterfall view. This displays time as a function of frequency. The total number of RF frames is updated in real time as energy signals begin to appear across the spectrum. In this case, the dark blue areas correspond to lower energy levels, while warmer areas like yellow, orange, or red mean higher energy levels. In the middle is the waveform view. This displays power levels in dBm as a function of frequency. In this case, the colors correspond to the total number of hits, or in other words, the amount of times RF frames have appeared since AirView started. One of the most fascinating aspects of this spectrum analyzer is that operators can examine the RF energy to determine sources of interference on the spectrum. For example, around channel 11, we see a lot of RF energy in a volcano shape. This shape is not unique to ubiquity radios only, since just about any OFDM radio will have a spectrum mask like this. However, in this case, the frequent yet high energy levels are actually traced to a UniFi AP about 5 meters from this Pico station. There are several stations associated at the AP, including the computer being used for AirView. Judging by AirView's spectrum analysis, power levels are around minus 50 dBm, which we can also confirm on our host machine. The real-time view is located at the bottom, which displays power levels in dBm as a function of frequency. The line colors correspond to three different measurements, including a current energy reading, average energy level, and maximum energy signature since AirView first began. As its name suggests, this is a view of the spectrum which is updated in real time. Markers can also be set to give a more detailed description of the power level at a given frequency at any moment in time. These markers can be cleared by clicking on the View menu and selecting Clear All Markers. By holding Control and clicking on the screen, data can be saved as a PNG or CSV file. Data can be reset at any time simply by clicking the button at the top right hand of the screen. Furthermore, by visiting this View menu and selecting Preferences, operators can specify a particular frequency range to examine more closely the spectrum. Let's examine the frequency range 2402 to 2412 in greater detail. You'll notice that RF frames begin to populate the screen in higher resolution. Finally, by visiting the View menu under Preferences, operators can see a breakdown of channel usage as it relates to energy and percentage. This view expresses each channel proportionally according to the percentage of frames detected across the spectrum. Once again, this view is updated in real time. Make sure that your equipment is updated to the latest firmware version and that you have the latest version of Java running on your machine. Thank you for watching this video.